back to the channel. Today we'll be doing another Type R video for you guys. So right in front of us is a beautiful CTR. As you can see on the driver hand side, it looks kind of naked right now because we actually took off our overlays just to do this video for you guys. If you don't know, now we also sell a bunch of little small overlays. I'll just show you on this side since we already did it. We did the uh, tail light front smoke. Right here we add this little vinyl that gives an aggressive thing. On the side, which you don't have yet, we're gonna add another decal here. It looks super aggressive. Coming to the back, tail lights. We have the side piece right here on the reflector end of the tail lights and another reflector here. And some other tail lights that we're gonna add on. So a lot of people have been ordering these already, but uh, since we're here today, we have some time. We're gonna show you guys how to put these on. And they're super easy to do. That's gonna be my second time doing some overlays because the overlay guys are really busy today. So I'm gonna walk you guys through it if you're interested in any of these products. Uh, check the link below and then uh, let's get started. As you guys know, with these, you know, like amber orange reflectors, like the car looks really ugly because there's not much orange on any of these cars. You know? We're gonna have black these out today. Uh, from AFD, we use Vivid, uh, the material, which is air release type so they're really good quality compared to the other ones you just kind of cut out price reflects the you know quality of the parts so let's go ahead and start with the front corner i already prepped already so go ahead and get some alcohol wipe right now clean it and uh, go ahead and grab your overlay so as you can see this is the headlight we're gonna start area right here you can pretty much it's like a lego guys so you go ahead and peel it and obviously you have to use heat gun guys okay when you put this on you have to use heat gun just to make it easier stretch a little easier so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it so go ahead peel I already wiped it, guys, so don't worry. Uh, apply on a little bit. Just kind of, you know, take your time. There's no rush. Do this. Okay, you guys work from the inside out. So, as you can see, I have some creases right here. But you can just pull back. Because it's such a good vinyl, you can just, you know, use your fingers and it'll come right off. And there's another extra layer of film on top of this. So, don't worry about the little minor scratches right now. But it's come right off. Sheesh! All right, guys. So, as you can see, I use a little bit of heat with the creases. Let's pull back, do some minor stretching, and uh, I didn't even use a squeegee, guys, so. All right, guys, I'm done with this. Next thing I do is I'm gonna go ahead and peel the protective layer film on top of this. Boom! Moving to the side vent. This is a very functional vent, guys, so. With this blacked out, it just looks a lot better, huh? So the car is a lot of gloss black, if you guys don't know, so with these gloss black accents, it just makes it look a lot better. This is gonna be a little bit easier because of the flat surface compared to the curved surface. So I'm gonna go ahead, do the top first. Uh, can you help me on this, on the other one? But as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Now we're moving to the front. As you can see, it really makes a huge a dramatic difference. It gives it a more exterior, aggressive look. Like I said, any of these parts are reversible, so we don't like it after like two months, a month or whatever, three months, a year, whenever. You just go ahead and peel off and it won't affect the paint underneath. All right, guys, moving on to the front. I think this part is one of my uh, favorite overlays because it makes the car look that much more aggressive, which is the thing right here. Well, you can't really see it right now, but once, once the final is on, you can really show the contour of this bumper right here. All right, guys, go ahead, peel it off. Just like that, wow. And then we should always take off the particular film. Boom. Now look how much more aggressive it looks. Into the back, we have the tail light right here, and which is a one, two, three piece job, and then one small reflector. So again, once you tint all this, it's kind of like so aggressive. By the way, we also have the emblem too. This one is not overlaid, it's a whole cover that we're working on right now, so that will come out later, future. So let's go ahead and still rear reflectors first. Okay, this one should be fairly easy because it's, this one is pretty much straightforward. So you can go ahead. This one, guys, you'll probably need to like, use your credit card, one of these like tucking tools. I um, don't have to use this tool if you don't have it, but your credit card works, or you can use your time, use your fingers. Oh, just like that, we're done. As you can see, the it's a lot more aggressive now, hiding away the reflector. All right, guys, onto the tail light. So you get a set of tail lights. Pretty simple, actually. There's a cutout here for your tail light, so it's gonna look something like that. So we'll go ahead, make sure to prep, peel, and let's get started. the 
front we have the red and chrome emblem. So what we have here is a black and red, you know? Just get rid of chrome because like I said, the car has zero chrome. So same thing. This one, take your time, make sure you line up. Alright guys, that's it for today's uh, short install video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it's pretty simple. Do take your time though because if you do peel back on and off a couple of times, you might mess with the vinyl. So do take your time. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer too. Go borrow your girls or your moms or your sisters. That will help you too. Um, and then also on the inside, I didn't show you guys in time, but we also did these a little bit earlier. We have the steering wheel emblem. Same thing guys, you just tuck it and then we have a little type bar emblem here. You can add. Yeah guys, as you can see, the rear is definitely transformed. I'm gonna show you this side. Compare this side. With it being smoked out, you can see the LEDs pop out a lot more on the tail lights. A lot cleaner overall. So cheap mod, again, super clean and change up the whole look without spending a lot of money. But I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to share, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next type right video. Peace.